Last one. It ain't over till it's over. Yeah. I'll chase it down. Yeah. Got it. Uh, let's see what... I've got two mem cakes I haven't looked at. What's this? Bumper. You teach the virtues of the still, and yet I spurned the lesson learned. My problem is I have no chill. <laughs> okay. What about this one? Jofonzo? Does Agent 8 actually have a memory of Jofonzo? I watch your tendrils undulate, a blue bouquet that twirls and sways, as central mass swells and deflates. Sounds like a, a poem about jellyfish in general. So. Okay, um. No, one question that I, uh, that I thought of while I was eating lunch earlier is, um, does this train serve a food? Like, how do all of its passengers eat? I don't suppose we're actually expected to eat the mem cakes we uh, acquire. Or is that ha exactly how we recover our memories? I have no idea. Anyway, I'm on my way to that thing. Yeah, so I'm going to take this a shorter line, although it may be a bit more hectic. At least I'd expect it to be. Here we go. The fun don't stop. Okay. Popalicious Station. Pop all the balloons before they escape. Okay. I'll stick with this. Please pop all 50 target balloons. Alrighty. Here goes... Oh, I have quite a few number of tries. I'm guessing it's easy to fail this. The balloons are escaping! Hurry! Oh man, a cleaner thing. No! Okay. I missed them. A bone got away. Just failed. Alright. Anyway, starting over from the beginning. Okay. Okay. Way there. Stay focused. Oh man. Uh, a bunch of them. I'm not gonna focus on the crates right now. Oh. I was Ten to go. Oh, there's one down there. Just a few left. Get it done. Okay. One left. Yeah. So that's why it's called the Popalicious Station. And I got a mem cake of Sheldon. Is there gonna be a mem cake of every character in this game? There are new entries in the chat log, so I sent them along. Check them out sometime. Oh, mem cake first. Chat log second. Hmm, slosher, ink brush, curling bomb? I'll gladly browse for hours and hours. Your gushing ramble brings me calm. <laughs> huh. I guess this is what the... what Agent 8 is... 
thinking. Agent 8 is a poet. By the way, I <laughs> I was uh, wondering... Um, Marie all but confirmed in uh, Octave Canyon that uh, Octarian is a different language from Inkish. I mean, I assume that's what... What's the language we all know as English uh, in this game is supposed to be? So I was... You know, I was wondering, if this is a different dimension, it's quite coincidental that all the characters here speak Inkish, as Captain Cuttlefish does. But does Agent 8 understand it as well? It would be kind of funny if she was just being nudged along while not understanding a word anything anybody was saying. But those po those poems are in English, so I guess if she does understand Inkish, I don't know. Just a stray thought. Anyway, session four. Webmaster MC Princess has joined the chat room. I'm back! One. Yes. <clears throat> Craig Cuttlefish. Yes, you are. Marina, you here? She's in the head. The head? Whatever. Yo, why is there a pic of me posted in here? Isn't this against the law or something? Some data breach invasion of privacy thing? Oh, we're do. Oh, we're doing intros. Just read that part. Okay, then it's my turn to post a pic of Marina. Boom! Ah... Uh, now that one I can actually see clearly. It looks like she... That's a cat paw. Oh, she's right next to Judd. These are kinda hard to see clearly. And is that a power egg shaped like a cat's paw? Can't quite tell. This is when we first met, back in the day. Here's a bonus one, just cuz. Um, what is sticking out of her mouth? Is that a straw? Is she slurping a sundae? Or what? <laughs> like, I wake your sleepy head up. Oh, he's just drooling, I suppose. DJ Hyperfresh has joined the chat room. Pearl! MC Princess has left the chat room. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So, how are you holding up, Captain? Yo, Agent 8, what up? By the way, um, I think there's something growing out of Isopadre's ears. Those are where his ears are. No matter how far out you go, home is the place you can always come back to. He's told me that before. Also, I'm just now getting a look at his suitcase and stuff. So those, those are mem cakes. Like in real life, so to speak. I guess you don't eat them. Hopefully. All right, continuing down the line, looks like uh, just two more st stations, two more stops to go before I reach the thing. Who let the pods out? Our the O station. Are the are those quotes all based on song names? I'm just now kind of having that thought. Okay, whatever is simplest, that's what I'm going with. I'm not aiming to be a completionist uh, just yet. You're going to encounter a lot of enemies, so be careful not to get surrounded. Okay, so this is the Rapid Blaster. It's got quite a bit of range. More than I remember, actually. Mm. Okay. 
defeat enemies and get to the go. They're everywhere. Let them have it. Launchpad dead ahead. It's a trap. Fall back. Trouble incoming. Bam! That'll teach them. Naturally, they'd run faster in their own ink. I'm highly mobile enemy ahead. Get ready. Round two. Here we go. Is round two dessert? Please let it be dessert. Eight. You're surrounded. Don't stand still or they'll focus fire on you. Launch pad activated. Final checkpoint. Enemies are falling like rain. Ugh. Take him out quick or it's gonna get ugly. Oh. How did I get splattered there? Thought I'd... Is there a bomb? Enemies incoming. Oh, there's another r ride rail here. Gah, it's raining enemies. Oh, uh, this looks like the last way. Launch pad spotted, right in the middle. Talk about defensive overkill. Oh, man, I have not seen Octo Troopers <laughs> use those uh, uh, dodgy, dodgy mechanisms themselves yet. Bust through their front lines. Nailed it. Okay. The O station. Defeat enemies to get reach the go. I did that. So the new mem cake I get got was of bisque. Black bulging eyes a stare far inside. What does he see deep within me? From his sharp gaze no one can hide. How would Agent 8 have memories of these people unless she's already been to Inkopolis Square? Hmm. Next stop, what's up, dog? Matchmaker Station. Maybe they aren't all song titles. Huh. Although these weapons look unfamiliar. Whatever. <clears throat> I know now that I'll have a chance to test them in the uh, little starting area here. Squeezer and Splat Bomb. Okay. And Splat Charger and Splat Bomb. 
Let me try out the squeezer. It kind of feels like a regular splatter shot. Hmm. Except that's the first to... The first shot is, uh, travels farther. All right. Please create a shape out of the crates that is identical to the example on the left. Huh. How would the squeezer be, like, preferable in this case? Whatever, I'll give it a try. Okay, so you're supposed to shoot out crates on the right until they look like this, huh? Yeah. It's like cutting out shapes. How fun. Okay, so... Um... Huh. The crates will... Make sure you take a good look at the example shape, okay? Wait a second. Hold on. I've seen this shape before. Oh, it looks kind of like Judd from the Egyptian-themed Sunken Scroll. So, okay, um... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I need to eliminate this front row. Alright, I was wondering if the uh, crates are, go are going to uh, fall. Huh? What's this? I guess I can climb up here to get a better shot at certain... Yeah, I can see why I need that. I need that. Okay. One, two, three... So, eliminates the, these three rows. One, two... Okay, so that's three. Now, those two rows on top of those three boxes must go. Okay, I get why the squeezers uh, could works out in this case. Okay, now the three on top there must go. And uh, by the way, I must eliminate the box in between the pause and everything up above it above the pause this isn't hard as long as you take your time um one two three so one two three and everything above that must go I'm riding on the back of this cat. Hmm. You know, for a, a corporation that apparently exists in a different dimension, Kamabo Corp, Kamabo Code, sir, sure does seem knowledgeable about, you know, what goes on in the Inkling world. Like Judd and the Octarians, hence them using them as a tests te test enemies take extra care when shooting out the little details agent 8 arg i just want to blow this whole thing sky high all right 1 2 3 okay so 
I don't need to trim the sides any, do I? No. It looks like I've got... Oh. I do need to clear out the space in between the ears. Okay. Um, that should take care of the front half. Or the head, at least. Okay. Just clear out everything one step up from the, the spine, I guess. Ah, jeez. I'm so close. Uh, there we go. Alright, looks good. I'm, I'm pretty sure if I made a mistake it would just reset me via explosion. Okay, so we got a square for the back of the legs from the side. Um, yeah, and nothing above that square. At least one layer deep. is in the way. I bet they put it there on purpose. And now the tail from this from the haunches it goes up three blocks. Alright, I did it. Yes! Head for the goal! No other catch. Wow, you're not even going to take a moment to admire our work. Well, s sure. I do like doing that. But I'm also recording, so I don't want to uh, bore the audience too much. I mean... What's to be said? It's just an exact replica of the Judd on the left. Except less colorful. Nice. Ah, Krusty Sean. What does Agent 8 remember about him? There are new entries in the chat logs, so I sent them along. Check them out sometime. Krusty Sean. How long must I wait in his line? Such tragic lack of crusty snack. I'm almost there. It will be mine. Usually there's no line in hi at his shack at all, because everyone needs those hard-to-obtain tickets to even uh, buy anything. What is Agent 8's story? I'm so curious. <laughs> Session number five. DJ Hyperfresh says, Battery's almost dead. I'm gonna go grab my charger. Word. DJ F Hyperfresh has left the chat room. And there's nothing to do, and it's just me and you ca here, Cap. <laughs> what do you mean? Ugh, I'm bored. But maybe I'll do a little research on you. See what kind of dirt I can dig up. I have nothing to hide. We'll see. What's this? It looks like an old photo of a uh, Cap and Cuttlefish from the uh, Squid Peak Splatoon back in the Great Turf War. Is that DJ Octavio? He's getting blasted in the background. And that looks like a wasabi thingamajig that DJ Octavio holds. The heck is this? The Squidbeak Splatoon, led by 2nd Lieutenant Cuttlefish, visited grievous losses upon the forces of the enemy during the bitter siege of Arowana Castle. Huh, so that was... A location back then, huh? That takes me back. D 
Dang, Cap. Guess you're the real deal. They didn't know that at first, huh? Yep, now he's an old codger. Who's still... Still at it. For the most part. Here lies the precision thing. Smash and dash station. Let's see if I can grab it. Hmm, this is... This is different. No reward for completing this thing. At least in terms of points. Just a thing. Here I go. I see a room through there. Onward. That's a rule of the battlefield. No, it is not. <laughs> Pearls getting into the hole. <laughs> a dirt she dug up on Captain Cuttlefish, I guess. Is that the thing in there? No opposition at all? Just a factory. Oh, it's a train. A, a train keep. There's probably a better word for it. It's one of. Where the trains stay when they're not in use. So. I guess I'm taking a selfie. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> hauling it back on a trolley. <laughs> you are the bomb for Rizzo. You got the first thing. Find all four and you owe error. The promised land. Keep on keeping on. So this is one of the four things, eh? These things are as weird as this place, but we gotta get out of here somehow. Let's hurry up and find three more. I'm counting on you, Agent 8. It looks like the bottom of a blender. That's a bit... I am unnerving. Like, what would they use a blender of that size for? I can't believe we've only found one thing so far. What, how many were you expecting me to get at this point? We've got a long road ahead of us still. True. Check, 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 check it out. Uh, no thank you. You wish you had a confident closer to your own age? I can sympathize. <laughs> so, Sea Cucumber seems like he's somewhat familiar with Kamabo Co. Without any apparent memory loss. But I don't know if he'll actually willingly tell me anything more. Leave nothing behind! Welcome aboard! All passengers must leave nothing behind! Yeah, he's not telling me anything. So... I've collected my first thing, so I think I'll just, uh... I'll take a breather here, and I'll see you all on my next uh, episode of uh, my first playthrough of Sp Splatoon 2's Octo Expansion. Um, until then, I'm going to imagine Inkopolis and think of the glorious experiences I will have. I'll get him with one of these auto bombs. I 
Get him, get him fully. That didn't either. This is what Agent 8's imagination is of Inkopolis. Y'all know what time it is. It's off the hook, coming at you live from Inkopolis Square. Huh, she imagines the two of them as idols. <laughs> Check it, here are the re current regular battle stages. Hey chumps, how about you put that charger down and use a real weapon? The views and opinions expressed here do not reflect those of our employer. And these are the current ranked battle stages. And according to Agent 8's imagination, Inkopolis is all about ink battles. Is this for your family's personal shoppers bought groceries from too? What? <laughs> I guess, uh, Pearl had her own personal shopper, people employed to shop for her, <laughs> for her family. Me and this stage go together like peanut butter and jellyfish. Pretty sure those things don't go together. And now a word from our sponsor. Frisco Industries is now hiring. Let's work a salmon run shift later, Pearl. And since they're the only two characters that Agent 8 knows, that besides Captain Cuttlefish, they practically do everything around here, don't they? Don't get cooked, stay off the hook. Hey, I'm also an Agent 8's imagination. <laughs>